welcome back to the channel so for some of you following me if you checked the yesterday's video you would see that uh, I took the booster shot the COVID-19 <sighs> booster shot I'm really low on energy today I'm so sorry guys but I I got a fever and I've been sick because of the vaccine but I want to talk to you guys today about um, this herb it's the rhubarb root rhubarb is very rich in antioxidants uh, particularly the anthocyanins which gives it the red color you can see in the image uh, at the bottom of the plant This plant is anti-inflammatory and has anti-cancer properties as well. It's also antibacterial and has a lot of antioxidants. Many research has shown that this plant can help improve the heart-related issues or heart condition, uh, can help people with diabetes as well, but mostly it's effective for digestive or intestinal issues. So it can reduce inflammation, help with constipation, heartburn, and it will make you poop. <laughs> That's the very important part. So when you take rhubarb, you will have definitely a laxative effect and that will help to flush out some toxins and mucus from your body. It also aids in weight loss. It uh, strengthens the digestive system. Rhubarb also has been reported to help Alzheimer's disease. So it's likely that it also has some effect on the brain and can improve the brain function there. In other words, helping those who suffer from Alzheimer's. Rhubarb also reduces the risk of cardiovascular uh, diseases. This rhubarb root has been used for many, many years mostly for complaints relating to the digestive system. The rubber root can help with constipation, diarrhea, heartburn, stomach pain, gastrointestinal bleeding. Rhubarb can be taken as tea. It can be taken uh, in a powder form, mixed in shakes or smoothies. It can also be taken as a capsule. But it is encouraged that if you have any issues with the kidney, do not take the rhubarb roots or the rhubarb plant in any form. Some research also shows that rhubarb is effective in preventing osteoporosis. And in other words, it would encourage having strong bones or make your bones stronger as well as it can fight free radicals. So it can protect your skin and many parts of your body from inflammation by fighting free radicals. Rhubarb stimulates the production of red blood cells it stimulates bone growth and repair so if you've had any issues with your bone or broken bone at some point then rhubarb will be a great uh, supplement to add to your daily supplements or vitamins rhubarb oh. and promotes uh, bile production in the body it can improve the liver health and also very beneficial for vision health So guys, rhubarb is one of the three herbs that I would use for my colon cleanse and it's also an alkaline herb. You can find rhubarb in many stores, in many specialty stores or bio stores and just be careful when you intend to take rhubarb as I have suggested. If you have any issues with the kidney, it's not okay to take rhubarb but please check with your doctor or a herbalist or a natural part who can advise you properly about how to consume this herb i'll see you all again in my next video tomorrow and i hope that you learned a little bit more about some alkaline herbs from these videos if you did please remember to like share or subscribe so the rhubarb root is one of the alkaline herbs that i
take it take it now but just keep quiet please you're not gonna let me feel right